All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Monday. Who's got a case of the Mondays today? Back at it. What are we talking about today? We are going back to November 6th, 1981, 40 years ago. Uh, It would appear that 1981 was a big year in my musical journey. I would have guessed more like 83 to 85, but it turns out 81 was a good year in rock and roll as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 40 years since the Cars dropped their fourth album in four years, Shake It Up. Uh, This was a good record, right? Uh, The Cars, uh, we love the Cars in this house, right? In this place. Uh, their first two albums, of course, the debut we covered, and then my personal favorite, Candy O. Uh, it's hard to beat those two, and even Heartbeat City, it's hard to beat that. Uh, but Shake It Up is good in its own right. It's got some good stuff on there. Now remember, in 1981, they're coming off of Panorama, their third album, which uh, was pretty much a disappointment and not quite as successful as their other records, although it did manage to go to number five. Uh, it just wasn't quite what uh, the public uh, wanted at the time or whatever it was. So, uh, as usual, Rick Okasik wrote all the songs on here just as he had the previous ones. And uh, this was uh, a nice blend of their rock roots and then their new wave roots. Actually, just a, a nice mix of those two. They did a very nice job with uh, mixing up the dark, gloomy, like, uh, moody stuff of Benjamin Orr singing, and then the radio-friendly, quirky songs of Rick Ocasek. Um, Benjamin Orr, I do love telling the story, I've told it before, but my wife Sarah, uh, several years back, was just blown away when she heard there was someone other than Rick Ocasek that sang uh, some of the songs that she knew and had never heard of Benjamin Orr, like maybe so many people, because the face of the cards was... Uh, Rico Kasich for so long and it just turns out that the majority of the songs she liked the most were sung in fact by Rico Kasich but that's a fun conversation that we had one day several years back uh, they had four singles off this record uh, the title track Shake It Up was their first top 10 hit released in November 9th 1981 um, after that Since You're Gone Victim of Love uh, and Think It Over were all singles that were released Uh, And then the other tunes on there that are worth checking out are uh, I'm Not the One and Cruiser, right? And Think It Over, I think, is another one on there. Uh, The MTV was just launched within a few months, August of 81. So uh, they embraced it and started making music videos, and that really helped them uh, advance their career and uh, really helped as far as their record sales are concerned. And, uh, yeah, so... It's a decent record, right? I mean, who who doesn't uh, like the cars? I mean, maybe there's some of you out there. I did hear that they were not necessarily the greatest live band, right? Uh, But uh, I never saw them live, so I'd have to ask people who saw them. So if you saw the cars live back in the day, I do want to hear on how they were. Uh, You know, how was it? Uh, All right, so what's my song of the day? Uh, you'd have to obviously go for between uh, Shake It Up and Since You're Gone, but for me it's Since You're Gone. That one took the big vacation. That one is, uh, you know, I just love the tapping in the beginning, and uh, I've always loved that song. So that is your song of the day. It's the Cars, Since You're Gone, from Shake It Up. Whatever you're doing, listen to some Cars today. Enjoy it. Don't forget to, forget to comment below, and we're looking forward to the rest of this week. As usual, I'll catch on the flip side.